Yo, welcome back. So today this video is following on from the previous video. You'll see in the fashion spin you around. This is where I did the socket and put the light up. So here I split the videos up as I thought the previous video would be a bit long. So in this video, what I'm doing is Nick's gonna I already know a bit of it, but not a lot of it. My first ever time doing an intermediate switch which is on site, which I've done. I've done a few in college, but that's a bit different as you have like the patrices all next to each other on a wooden board. So you can kind of, it's a bit easier to understand where's what, whereas the intermediates here, as you can see there's like different switches, all different levels. So you can't just quickly look in the other switch and figure out what's what. It's, you have to learn how to do it properly, I'd say, on like on site. So, but while Nick's just doing some other things, I'm gonna make off this switch here, which is a free core cable, which is a switch cable towards the pendant in this bedroom. So the usual gist, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna film all this, you've seen it in the previous video, clean up the back box, strip the cable, and when I've sleeved up the cable, I'll uh, explain what cable's doing what, and also I'm gonna earth the back box here, and what else is I gonna do? Uh, that was it really, just earth the back box and terminate it, just to show you how I do a one-way switch. So that's the cables all terminated, uh, not terminated, stripped back. So we've got the grey, which is up blue for a neutral, if you ever need a neutral at uh, the switch. Uh, we've got the earth leaving on, earth fly lead ready, um, the common ready, and obviously the switch live sleeved up brown, just need to double them over and get the switch and start terminating. But we're just stopping for something to eat, so. My lunch box, I've got all loads of stuff. Loads of stuff. Maryland's probably, yeah. And I've actually got some Maryland's, got half a packet of Maryland's. How healthy mine is? Air fried chicken, homemade air fried wedges, loads of veg, too, probably too much hoisting sauce I've put on it, but nice. Nice. And I've got some cheese rolls and stuff like that, so quick little lunch check. Who made yours? My mum made mine. <laughs> Nick's been up nice and early this morning making that. So that's all terminated. Um, it's quite dark here, but bit bit of a strange one. Normally these click. I might be dreaming, but I'm pretty sure these click accessories normally have a plate round the bottom that has two of terminals on, like each side. Um, so there isn't that. So I've had to take the earth fly lead out and um, just put the earth into the back box. So when I screw the pins back, it'll be earthed via the pins touching the metal on the back box in the thread. So. That's all terminated, like I said before, the neutral is just pushed back and then I'm going to try and do this one-handed, try and bend it, bend the cables back. Uh, yeah, so basically what you'll do is try and bend it back and then bend the cables out of the way so they won't get hit by the terminal pins as you're screwing them in. Because obviously they're connected to earth and if you go through a live cable they'll just go bang. So, just always double check before you start screwing back that your cables are tucked away. So I'm just gonna screw that back and that's that one done. And then I'm just gonna quickly go in here. I've got a socket to do there, which I won't record. And then that's same again, same principle, which is for the bathroom, do that switch. And then I'll go to this switch here. So I'll finish up these few bits and bobs in the landing and then I'll uh, get to the intermediate. So that's all this room done. Like everything, switch is on. I uh, had to put longer pins in, um, so to cut the longer pins we used the Nipex, what are these called Nick? Nipex, What's that, dude? The, the bolt croppers. That's it, bolt croppers. So we use these to cut the pins, as don't use your cutters, no matter how much someone on site will convince you just to cut it and rather walk to the van, just walk to the van and get something to cut them, as it messes up your cutters. So just doing that socket, do that and then do that. And then got a fan ice up there. So I've just finished uh, doing the little bits and bobs like the smoke alarm and the fan ISO and the other switches. Um, still yet to do the intermediate, but Nick's just currently started the bathroom lights on the top floor. So I've just basically <laughs> my hand reaches up the down light, so I've managed to grab the cables for him. But I just said to him, I'll start to eliminate down lights as you hear him in the background, cutting the other down light holes out. And we'll get that done the top floor fully. Um, 
and then we can bring all the stuff down to this floor and I'll show you the intermediate. But we're fitting the JCC fire guard GU 10s. So yeah, we're gonna go and just terminate some of them. Hello everyone, my name's Nick. I am Adam's boss, if you don't know who I am. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump on and do the intermediate switching. I've never done this with you. Adam's done it at college. Uh, tell everyone, do you wanna put it on the screen now what you're on about, about your diagram? That is literally just gonna be, I'll do a standard intermediate diagram where it's just, so there's three switches in principle, really, yeah. isn't there? Um, first switch is a two-way switch. Second one will have four. The middle one, in, yeah. Uh, intermediate. And the third one is just a two-way switch again. Okay, but for this principle of this one, we have four switches. So any intermediate lighting system, you could go minimum is three switches. You could go up to 10 switches. Each end will always be a two-way and the ones in the middle will be an intermediate. And inter an intermediate switch, will, Adam will show you in a minute because what we can do with the click range stuff is they're modular systems. So we've got an intermediate switch and a two gang switch. We can just switch that out, can't we? Yeah. So go on then. This one, everyone wants to ignore this because this is just a three core run to the light up here. So yeah. this is your end cable for your intermediate switching. This one is here. Yeah, so what are you doing? Uh, so this one, obviously like you just said, runs down to the switch downstairs, one of the switches, one of the middle ones that is, and then this, Obviously, the light runs up to that light, so just stripping them back. Have you got the switch or not? Is it downstairs? It's downstairs. So the, the click, the Skolmall click range is what we're doing the house in. It actually, on socket, I think Adam's getting confused with socket. He said earlier they don't have the earth bar that runs across, which is here to, for the terminal pins, but that is just sockets do, not the lights. What's that? The earth bar that goes across the lights. Yeah. Most of the time it's just on sockets, not on. It is normally on them. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, the click these ones haven't. Yeah. They're in a different bag there than ones. Are they the new range or something? Potentially. Uh, oh no, normally they're in that type of style of bag, whereas the one ways I was using earlier are the other type of bag. You know the bag that a few spurs normally come in? Yeah, like the more uh, rubber feel done rather than plastic. That's it. Uh, so yeah, I'll just strip these in the wrong way. I always like to do it that way, but oh well. Turn into your dad now. Yeah. Right. Um, so none of these are getting doubled over. One is. Oh yeah, grey. So it's common, isn't it? So Adam, you, we use grey as common. Some people will use the black as common. It varies from, I don't know, boss to boss. We've always used grey. We both have the understanding that it's common. Same with the smoke alarms when that's a three core. The grey is the common, the black is the neutral. But for here, the blue will be our other switch live. Uh, that's a bit too long, I think. Right. That yeah. is your neutral. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is, isn't it? So you can just snip and curl if you want, depending on what you've done on the other switches. Yeah, just snipped and curled them. So the reason this is a three core here, because we wanted a neutral to the switch, if they ever want smart switches for the landing to be app controlled, we can have that. And why are we putting brown sleeving on it? Because it's live cable and it's not brown, so it's, it's showing it's identifying the cables that they could be potentially live conductors at some point obviously being switch cables at some point they are dead when the switch is triggered it becomes a live that on the right one yeah, yeah that's a brown yeah it's just because the sure. it. just rub it a little bit more mate like that. sorry <laughs> uh all right let's put the earths in get rid of them where is it it's all there Bend in, and I like to push the earth even back and put a bend in that, stop that coming up. Yep. Same with this one, put a bit of a bend. It's just so you can push them in, really. I always like to put a bit of a swan neck type of style on it. A swan neck? Yeah. Listen to you, you've been working with Jordan. That sounds like a Cambridge thing to say. I'm yeah, smart, and I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super smart. Sorry, my bad. Right, so which ones are you doubling up? All of them. Why? Because... Yeah, because that... It's a two-way switch, so that... Yeah. All those are just for... Basically, that's just... That's going in common on the left, uh, right, right, right side. side. Yeah. Um, and that's going in L1 on the right side. So they'll be in different ones. Yep. And then all those will be in different ones as well. Okay. So, yeah. But, but what are we going to do after? 
Uh, downstairs, you probably won't have to double like them two off because we'll have another set of them two to put in with it. Sound. So it's a bit long winded, but you'll see what I mean. Nice and neat, no copper showing, nice bends. So as Aslan pushes that back, he'll know that it's. Uh, uh, right there, I need to put some more bends in. The terminal pins aren't going to catch anything. Adam's kindly asked me to show off the difference. So an intermediate light switch, you can see here, <coughs> it's almost like two poles that travel straight through. It almost feels like an isolation switch. Do you know what I mean? Two pole ISA cuts off on the bottom. What we would do with this is our brown and brown from two cables, our black and black from two cables, and then our common, which would be our gray, we will put in a connector, I say a connector, but it'll be a Wago or an ideal, a two-way that will be linked through. So the common is always linked through throughout. And then this will be the ISO that will switch between the different switches and the different systems as it works its way back up to the lights. So this is intermediate. This is a two-way. This is for the bathroom. And we have the bathroom light switch. If you go to my video, you'll see it. Uh, we have the bathroom light and also the intermediate switch. So with the click stuff, it's a modular system. So we can literally just unscrew one of these out We'll unscrew this, switch it over, so we'll have a two-way and also a um, intermediate next to it. So that's that switch done. Got the two grey cables, which are our commons, which are linked through with brown sleeving on. And then in the back... <laughs> Nick just fell upstairs. <laughs> so we've got brown from above on the right-hand side of the patrus, going in L1 at the top, and then brown from above on the left-hand side, going in the bottom in L1. So it's L1, L1 in brown. Browns, and then black, we've got uh, brown sleeving on them, and they're going in L2. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, L2 on the bottom, and then L1 at the top, like, in line with each other. Uh, it's a pass-through. Well, I explained earlier, it was a, it's an isolate, it's almost like a double pole isolator. Yeah, that's it. So they're in line. And then obviously the Ursa in the back box terminated. So I'll screw that back and I'll move over to just behind me and do that switch. So this is the one, two, this is the third switch. So it's pretty similar to the previous one, but there's a twin in there rather than three core. So yeah, that's that one. All sleeved up, everything like that. So I'm going to bend that into place and screw that one back. So that's the final switch done. In this final switch, we've got grey is common, and then we've got blue and black together in L2, and then in L1, we've got both browns. So, and then the earths in the back box, the normal, normal gist. So that's it for this one. That's all the intermediates done. So I've got one here, just to recap, which is the first one, and then we've got one which is up there, which is the bathroom one. And then from there, we've got one above us. Which That's pretty much the end of this one, but it's been a bit different because this intermediate switching, we've had an extra one in the middle. So it's been four switches total. Um, and yeah, using the click module system. So swapping out the, what did you swap out? It was the, to create an intermediate with the two way. Yeah. Yeah, so Nick, Nick ran you through that. That's the end of the video and I'll catch you on the next one.